we want to prove in this video. Okay, so I really liked his um, video here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward it a little bit to like three minutes because he explains, okay? So, and we talked about this in class and I already told you, look, uh, this is radius, radius. And you start from here and go all the way over there. And if that is the same length as this and that, that is one radian. And so he wrote down the definition of one radian over there. And then he draws the line to prove, okay, to basically explain to you that this is basically the same length, the radius. And this is radius, and that is radius, right? And then that angle over here, alpha, or in our case we say theta, is equal to one radian, okay? Um, and then he tries to explain why is it that when we go through the whole circle, um, we get two pi radians. Well, he comes out with this example over here. You have number of pens and you have dollars, right? So it says, he talks about how for one pen is $6. So how many pens are you going to get if you spent $18? Well, how did you get this number? You went 18 divided by 6 and you got 3. You already know that it's 3, but, you know, uh, you had to divide. Then he talks about um, the distance that the... Uh, the distance, basically the circumference of the circle versus radians, okay? And so you can see that right here. He's talking about distance. So if, if this particle started from here and went all the way to up there and it went R, that was how many radians? Well, that was one radian, right? But then do you remember how the circumference of the whole circle, according to the formula, that is 2 pi r, and that's the circumference. So then we don't know what the radian is when we go around the whole circle, right? So then in order for us to find this square, we're just comparing it over here. Remember how we wanted to find this question right here? So what did we do? We went 18 divided by 6. Well, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go 2 pi r divided by r. And when you do that, the R's cancel out, and you are left with what? 2 pi radians. And therefore, that is the reason why when you go around the whole circle, is 2 pi radians, and 1 radian is basically R. And R stands for radius in the circle. And that's it. If you want to go ahead and watch this video, you can basically type this up, and you'll be able to see that. Or you can just go ahead and uh, copy this or something. But that's it, my really fast version. Okay? All right. So thank you for watching.